yes? This next funny competitor hails from Dearborn, Michigan. Put your hands together for Matt McClowry, everybody. Matt McClowry, here he comes right now. I'm actually from Dearborn, and I'm Matt McCrowley. Well, I'm in my 30s now. And in being in your 30s, you're not old yet, but you know you're officially a grown-up, right? Yeah, you know you're officially an adult when people your age are having children, and suddenly it's good news. <laughs> like one day your mom tells you your cousin's pregnant, but she's not whispering anymore. I don't have any kids. I'm jealous of little kids' birthday parties now. Nobody cares anymore. Last year for my birthday, my dad bought me a gift card from Dollar Tree. <laughs> Happy birthday! Pick out 20 pieces of crap from the dollar store. Like what? I don't know, like a battery with a two-minute lifespan. Maybe a 2007 calendar. Stock up on off-brand cereal like Fruit Hoops or <laughs> Frosted Fakes. Hey, <laughs> go in the toy section, get some Power Strangers. <laughs> For the kids. And they're thrilled too. They're like, yeah, who's uh, Laura the Explorer exactly anyway? Travel around doing comedy. It was recently in Indiana. Indiana's state slogan is Indiana, Crossroads of America. Why don't they just say it? Indiana, keep driving. <laughs> See here? I met a woman in Indiana. Her name was Misty. I asked her if that was her real name. She got all defensive. She's like, it's my God-given name. I'm like, yeah, because Misty has such a biblical ring to it. Uh, yeah, we all remember Misty from the Book of Bubba. You know, that was, you remember where Jesus turned water into bush light? <laughs> he had one hot pocket, but it was enough for everybody. It was a miracle. <laughs> she says to me, she's like, I thought you were really funny. I'd like to have you perform at a private party. And I said, I'd love to. She says, I want a comedian there, and I think I'll either get you or Larry the Cable Guy. And I'm like, that sounds like a totally comparable price range. And I was like, it's like saying, I'm gonna get a new car. I think I'll either get a 95 Escort or the Batmobile. <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy has an $150,000 per appearance fee. For me to make that kind of money, I'd have to do 150,000 shows. <laughs> She gets all defensive. She's like, no, I have a personal injury settlement coming in. He's what I want to spend it on. Now I'm quiet, because in my head, I'm trying to think if I've ever heard a more white trash sentence. Like, <laughs> if there was a contest, I would win, or at least come in second next to, I lost my mullet in that meth lab fire. with girls. It's not that I'm a bad looking guy. I think good looking. I just have dark circles around my eyes. I'm incredibly pale. So I look like a good looking guy. Just a good looking guy who died two hours ago. <laughs> I love when people laugh even though it hurts because you're like, yeah. Uh, I'm really shy because when I was a kid I was diagnosed with something called Asperger's syndrome. Do you guys know about this? Nobody knew about it when I was little, and that meant I had to go to school one day after the teacher had taken the other kids aside and said, listen, don't pick on Matt. He's just a little bit different, because he has something called Asperger. <laughs> then, yeah, you're grown-ups and you think it's funny. <laughs> Third graders laugh their butts off. <laughs> Asperger is defined by a few different criteria. There's poor eye contact. There's a lack of empathy, which I don't really give a crap about. There's <laughs> intense focus, extremely narrow interests. The doctor said I would do well in school if they got me focused on learning. 
So my parents were never able to find a school where I could major in WWF with a minor in Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I used to be overweight too. There's a double standard in our society. It's harder for women, because I mean, Women, we get pressure to look good too, we just don't internalize it as much as women. Like a woman will walk into a store, she'll see beautiful ladies on the covers of magazines, a voice in her head will say, look at them, they're perfect, you're not, you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough, you gotta diet, work out 23 hours a day, cut all the carbs, cut all the fat, forget you're not a sugar-free Tic Tacs and parsley, that's all you're gonna eat. <laughs> the guy sees a good looking guy on the cover of a magazine, the voice in his head just says, he's gay. And that's... <laughs> that's Totally different kind of pressure. Thank you guys so much. That's my time. <laughs> Matt McClary, everybody, funny man. We're over the